In a ceremony held on November 25, 2024, at RSS Singapura, Changi Naval Base, the Republic of Singapore Navy RSN, decommissioned its final two Challenger-class submarines, RSS Conqueror and RSS Chieftain. Presided over by Rear Admiral Sean Watt, Chief of Navy, this momentous occasion marked the official end of an era, as Singapore's submarine fleet transitions to the more modern and capable Invincible-class submarines. Four decades, the Challenger-class submarines, retrofitted Swedish vessels originally designed for Cold War-era operations, served as the backbone of Singapore's undersea capabilities. Despite their critical role, these submarines have now been outpaced by advancements in submarine technology and the evolving nature of maritime threats. The decommissioning of RSS Conqueror and RSS Chieftain thus symbolizes the end of a key chapter in the RSN's history and the dawn of a new era in underwater warfare. The introduction of the Invincible-class submarines represents a monumental step forward in Singapore's naval strategy. These submarines, custom-built by Germany's ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems, TKMS, are designed specifically for the region's unique maritime environment. Characterized by shallow waters, high shipping traffic, and complex thermal layers, the Invincible-class vessels are perfectly suited to Singapore's strategic needs. One of the defining features of these submarines is their air-independent propulsion, AIP systems, which allow them to remain submerged for extended periods without the need to surface. This capability significantly enhances their operational stealth and survivability. Additionally, the Invincible-class submarines are equipped with noise reduction technologies and automated systems, enabling a smaller crew to manage more complex missions with greater precision. The Invincible-class submarines are not just a technological upgrade, they also offer a substantial increase in firepower. Armed with eight torpedo tubes, these submarines can launch a wide range of payloads, from torpedoes to sea mines, providing the RSN with a versatile platform for both deterrence and offensive operations. The added endurance and firepower make these vessels highly capable, positioning Singapore's navy as a formidable force in regional waters. This modernization comes at a time of increasing undersea competition in the Asia-Pacific region, where countries like China, India, Indonesia, and Vietnam are heavily investing in their submarine fleets. The ability to control the underwater domain has become a crucial aspect of national security, and Singapore's investment in the Invincible-class submarines enhances its strategic positioning in this evolving environment. Beyond their military capabilities, the Invincible-class submarines also serve as vital tools of strategic autonomy for Singapore. With its economy deeply reliant on global maritime trade, the protection of sea lanes and territorial waters is essential. The RSN's growing submarine fleet, which will include additional Invincible-class vessels such as the RSS Illustrious and RSS Inimitable in the coming years, plays a crucial role in safeguarding Singapore's maritime interests. In conclusion, the transition from the Challenger class to the Invincible class submarines marks a significant shift in Singapore's naval strategy. By investing in these advanced submarines, Singapore is not only enhancing its deterrence posture, but also reinforcing its role as a key player in the Asia-Pacific region's increasingly complex maritime security landscape.